Hello, welcome to Analyst Rising. Today we're building a keyboard and mouse click event logger, which means that anything I type or click will be recorded as a list so I can keep track of what I've pressed and where I've clicked. So what we're going to be doing firstly is installing our TK Inter module and then we're going to be creating a frame uh, and then creating a couple functions to record our clicks and our key presses and then hopefully that will be stored in the list um, which we can you'll be able to see in my output so let's get started let's zoom in as you can see I've already typed in I've already imported my TK into module and then next thing I'm going to do is create our log as a blank list next thing I'm going to do is type in our get our master window sorted TK and then the next thing we're going to do is create our uh, frame. Oh, I've missed out here the functions which also need to go here. So what I do next is I create the frames. I always do the functions last and then we type in tkr.frame link that into my master Specify the height and the width. Then we're going to call that frame. And the next thing I do is we're going to bind our key presses and our clicks um, to the frame. So we can do that by typing frame dot bind. And then within our speech marks, we're going to type in key which binds all the key presses and we'll link that to our function we're going to create later on um, called char or characters the next thing we'll do is I'm going to bind our mouse click events so button one will be our left click um, and then we're going to call that into another function called click and then what we're going to do is bind our middle click, if you have one, and our right click on our mouse, or on my mouse, uh, being button two and button three. Uh, the next thing we are going to do is create our functions. Oh, for, almost forgot to actually pack it in. There we go. And that's it done. Next thing I do is create our functions. So def char as event. So what's going to happen? What's going to happen when we click? When we press a key or click with our mouse? Well, what is going to happen is we are going to print pressed, and then what we're going to do is then store our um, key press as an event dot char there we go and then we're, so that's our printed on output and then we're going to store it in our log by uh, putting key one equals uh, and I'm just going to copy this And then we're going to then log dot append. Oh, make sure you get the capitals correct. And then we're going to append it with our key one. And that is our. Have I missed anything? Uh, yeah. And then we're going to print our log. So we're going to print out our list of what we have already every time we click a button or uh, press a key. Next thing we're going to do is create our click function so define click event uh, clicked at um, instead of repro we're going to just have event.x and event.y not 7 y and then we're just going to modify what we had earlier we'll call that key 2 key 2 and then don't forget also though with the click we need to set our clicks 
so that they happen within the frame, so they're recorded when they're clicked in the frame. And that is done by frame.focusset. And then we're going to type that in here. Focus sets there. And that is it. And then first, lastly, oh, we can get rid of that. Lastly, what we're going to do is after mainly activate everything so that it works. So is that everything I've got? Let me just double check. Okay. Short little description of Repro at the bottom, but I'll go through that a bit later on. Right now, I think it's important we go through what we have. So let's just do exactly that and debug it if necessary. So click on the window. Let's click. Now we're getting some click events here. Brilliant. And it's noticed that it's being stored. Look, if you look below my, my head or my face, uh, you can see the outputs building up. So that's looking all right. So let's press some keys now. R, E, Q, uh, greater than, or oh, full stop even, uh, zero, nice, one. It's working well. Good stuff. Um, notice, so let me just do uh, a new window. Notice that when I, uh, when I click top left, quarters 810, bottom right, 494497, and when I click out, it doesn't work. So the clicks are coordinates, where the datum point is the top left. And it only works, only records your clicks if you've done it within the window. Also notice, very annoyingly, um, that when you type in a letter, you get a really annoying, let me write it in big here, you get a really annoying, let me do the output here, oh. um, you get this sort of arrangement, which means you've got essentially two sets of speech of quotation marks, and you've got single quotes and double quotes, and then the letter. So I think that's really unnecessary space. And that is caused, and it looks really messy and horrible, and I absolutely hate it, but it is caused by this repro function here. Now, repro is needed in order to be able to um, use the eval command on strings, um, which is why you get this extra set of double quotes. But you don't need it. We don't need it in our list. So you do that by you can just take away the repra in our key one, and then if we um, rerun it, if we rerun it, uh, what's going on here? Okay, let's just do this. If we rerun this, notice that we get. Uh, single quote in our output here. So that's fixed there. Uh, ah, it's all fixed. It's just running well. So the code works well. It was just something wrong with my computer. Um, so let's just do that again. Um, top left, 11.3, bottom right, 490, 493. You can change the size of the window if you want to be wherever you want it by changing these numbers here. And then if we type in some letters, notice that you got rid of all the horrible double quotes around it. Looks a bit neat, a bit tidier. Notice that it's letter at a time. And you type in he hello, it comes up. And if we type in, um, Subscribe, subscribe, you know, you get subscribe. Also, spaces appear, get lots of spaces in there. So it works really well. Every click uh, is stored within the window, and every key button pressed is also stored. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Check out more of my tutorials, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks very much for watching. Goodbye.